Hey everyone, it's Chase. Today, I'm going to be talking about something that is happening right now within our community. There is a company that is stealing designs of packing straps from another company. I'm here to give you all of the facts, give you the receipts, show you the screenshots, give you the conversations, give you the background on exactly what's happening. I'm making this video because I feel like it's my duty to give you all of this information because of the platform that I have and to make sure that the company who is stealing these designs actually takes accountability for their actions and I feel like this is the way to do it. So what could I be talking about? Well, there is a company within the community, it is a trans-owned company called MyPack. They make packing straps that are really, really great. I've reviewed them in the past. I'm a big fan of them. It's a packing strap attached to an elastic band. This is what it looks like right over here. So it looks like a jock strap, but there's nothing kind of tying it here. And it's what makes this product really revolutionary and different than any other product on the market. Now, yes, of course, there are packing pouches that exist out there. This is the Joey pouch. This is not attached to any band. You actually have a safety pin that you safety pin onto your underwear in order for this to stay up. There's also one from New York Toy Collective that has magnets. Again, not actually attached to a strap. This is the first First one that I have seen where there is a strap and there is a pouch and you can put the packer in there and this is it. So when you're sitting down to pee, this is actually staying on you so you don't have to feel dysphoric about that disconnect. That is a trans owned company. Now, the issue is that Rodeo, who is a very, very popular name, well known company in this community has stolen this design. So if you're unsure who Rodeo is, they are a company that's been around eight to 10 years, their original kind of concept and design was these briefs here that have an O-ring here. So the concept is that you can use this as a harness to like do things without having to use a harness. So it feels better because it's underwear and you can just wear this all day long. After this, they started to make packing underwear where they were more geared towards the trans mask community. And just so that we're clear, Rodeo is a women owned company. All right, I will put the screenshot right now. I took this screenshot literally right before I made this video. This is from their About Me section on their website. This is an important point and I'll tell you why very soon. So here's the thing. I showed you what the packing strap looks like, right? Nothing else like this in the market. You see that right there? That's Rodeos that they just came out with and just emailed all of their newsletter subscribers an email of this picture here of this product that they're selling. Notice that price point, $15. Interesting. How much do you think the My Pack is? Oh, $15. Interesting. Here's the thing, all right? You can argue that maybe it's not the same thing. However, why is the pouch literally the same shape? That's weird. That's weird. Why wouldn't it be a pouch like this? Huh? All right, so now let's get onto the receipts because this could just be hearsay. I heard someone say this, someone's accusing someone of this. Uh-uh, I have receipts, I have proof that this happened. Rodeo literally stole this design from my pack. Also, I am a little afraid to make this video. I feel like there's a thin line here and I don't wanna be sued by Rodeo for like defamation or wrong information, which is why I have physical screenshots to show you this information that cannot be denied. Also like freedom of speech and things like that. So hopefully this doesn't get me in trouble because I just want you to have the information that you deserve in order to make an informed decision so that we can make sure this company takes accountability for these actions. So there's a lot of posts online. It could be a little bit difficult to understand where the pinpoint of the beginning of this happened. And I will tell you. All right, so here's the first screenshot. Let me read it out for you. The original email was on April 1st, 2021 at 421 p.m. That time is going to be integral for this story. This person is somebody that had already bought the My Pack strap and really liked it. And I think that they were asking Rodeo if they have something similar that they could use and use for also doing like SEX stuff. On the same day at 8 39 p.m. the owner goes sweet I'll check it out and see how it's done it looks pretty darn close to our STP jock except it hangs mm, that's different it does not look like their STP jock by the way just so that you know it's hard to build a construction and they're basically telling this person what underwear they should buy I want you to notice who signed it heart J J is Jennifer Weaver. That is the owner of Rodeo. And I know that this is the owner from Rodeo because if you look at any post online that is signed 
Heart J, it's always the owner. The next screenshot I want to show you is this one. Look at that. April 1st, 2021, 5.17 p.m. Interesting. 5.17 p.m. Isn't that 40 minutes after that first email was sent? And won't we look at that? Who ordered it right there? Jennifer Weaver ordered the My Pack strap from My Pack. Okay, nothing wrong with a company ordering a product from another company. That happens all the time, I'm sure. Absolutely, you want to check out somebody's competition or see what they do, or maybe you bought it because you wanted to collaborate with them. There's no problem. You paid the price. Cool. But let's be clear that Jennifer Weaver paid for a product, not for a design paid for a product. Just like if I'm going to go on a website right now and I'm going to buy something, I'm just buying the product. I don't have any right to copy that product because I just bought it for me to use, right? And now we fast forward to eight months later and here it is in mass production on their website available to buy. To me, this is way too suspicious and I'm seeing this as a fact that the owner bought the product, got the product, said, Mm, really good product, we should make this, decided to mass produce this product, and they don't actually produce anything like in California where they are, they get everything mass produced now because they are such a big company so that their costs are lower and so on. So of course it takes a couple of months to mass produce those things, so we fast forward eight months and here we are now that they're selling the exact same design. All right, so you're like Chase, okay, it's one design, kind of looks similar, whatever. No, I'm not gonna take that because um, this is the MyPack strap, STP strap that they have. This is what it looks like right over here. And won't you know it, won't you know it. On the same day that Rodeo came out with their strap, they also came out with the STP one. Interesting. Now I will give it to Rodeo. They do have STP underwear, which I have because I review everything. This is what they look like. Let me turn them around so you can see what the STP pocket looks like. Okay, here's what it looks like. It's, it's, it's dark, so it's kind of hard to see, but this is what the pouch looks like. It's part of the underwear here, with the underwear. This here does not look at all like the My Pack Strap, 0%. This actually looks closer to the Joey, all right? And I'm telling you this for a really good reason. Let me tell you, this came out on Instagram a couple of days ago. Everyone kind of exploded and talked about it. I posted about it, my pack posted about it, a bunch of people posted about it. People were commenting on Rodeo's Instagram page. They turned off comments. Isn't that suspicious? A few hours later, maybe a day later, they removed the strap from their website, but not the STP strap. Hmm. Of course, they're getting thousands of messages and comments of people saying, hey, you need to talk about this. Like, what's going on? Did you steal these designs? Like, this is a trans-owned company and you're somebody who is stealing this design as a woman-owned company that's cis. Like, what is happening? I have a screenshot for you of an email that the owner sent somebody who was just inquiring about what was happening. Nathan, thanks for touching base. Let's jump in. Adoption is normal in the fashion industry. The Get Your Joey design, of which I also purchased a few, which to me using the word also is confirmation that that order from Jennifer Weaver is actually her that purchased it. So let's just keep that in mind. She is admitting right here that she did purchase it in April. So the Get Your Joey has been around for over eight years and is a wonderful product featuring a hanging pocket pinned to your band of choice. The option to sew it onto the same band has always been there. Other brands are now just making a pocket sewn into the band instead of pinned to the same band. So the question is, does pinning it rather than sewing it down make it a completely original design? Um, I would actually say so, you know? Because if we look at the difference between these two, the shape, the width, the look, everything is different. The insert is on this side, the insert is on that side. Sure, the idea of having a packing pouch I don't know if it was Get Your Joey that did it. Maybe it was Transwear. They've been around for years and they've been adding pockets to underwear. Maybe it's just a random company that like trans people found and they weren't made for trans people and we've adapted it. Who knows? That's not the point here. The point is that these are different designs and that this design looks exactly suspiciously like the design that they just released. So let's just put that one out there. To continue on this email thread, by the way, if the community wants to crack down on designs, then Get Your Joey should be compensated by any company, including my pack, for adopting a hanging pocket in their design. Though again, I've been putting hanging pockets in my packing underwear for over eight years. Are you saying that you want my pack to pay you? 
because you put hanging pockets in your underwear? And again, this hanging pocket from their STP underwear is not this at all. This is completely different. And if we even want to do this, it's completely different than their STP. There's a hole here. Every single pocket, pouch, harness, underwear for an STP has a hole in it so that you can put the wiener through so that you can pee. That's the point of it. And here's another little tidbit from that email. It looks different because it was screenshotted on a different platform. So it's like dark instead of the white, but it's the same email. You can see it. If the community is moving forward with that resolve, expecting payment for initial designs, and I'd love to be compensated for all the adopted styles across the brands, including FTM brands for underwear styles that is similar and or has an embedded O-ring like I showed you. Then, it, then they talk about the community wants to crack down the initial designs, get your Joey should get money. I'm speechless. This isn't just one email. This is a number of emails that have been sent by her trying to explain herself instead of taking accountability that you literally stole a design. Reading that made me so angry, like boiling angry, heat in my heart to wanting to scream angry that a company who, again, on their website identifies as a woman owned company is stealing ideas from the trans community, already a very, very marginalized community. I'm not saying that lesbians and women are not marginalized, absolutely, but stealing a design from anybody is not cool, especially from the trans community. And in my opinion, it doesn't matter even if this company was trans owned or they had trans employees, that doesn't even matter. What matters is that the design was straight up stolen. The my pack strap design, the exact, the literal price, the pouch looking. Why does the pouch look like that? I've never ever in my life seen a pouch that looks like the my pack pouch where it's like longer. The first time I saw it, I was like, this is a little strange that it's longer, but it works. Why did they take that exact design? This isn't like, oh, some people in the industry, you know, we copy each other or we adopt different ideas. Is adopting an idea stealing the idea? Because I'm not really understanding what she's saying. Like I even have one of the first my pack strap that they came out with that had like a purple band. Like this is what it looked like. And again, still has this. And it's still that long looking pouch that they did not have before this. They had a pouch that looked similar to the Joey. What do I want from this video? I want a couple of things. The biggest thing is I want accountability. I want Rodeo to straight up say, I did this, I'm sorry. I don't want if or but or because, no, 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 no. I'm sorry, we did this. Yes, I bought it, I mass manufactured it, and we're selling it at the same price point. I did this, I stole the design, I'm sorry. This will never happen again, okay? I don't know if the owner of my pack wants a, a personal apology from the owner, but I feel like a outward statement where you're saying that you did it, absolutely. It's not gonna make things better. It's just gonna show that you're taking accountability. Now, the other thing that I want is whatever repercussions happen from this that the company doesn't complain. Because that's the one thing. If you're apologizing and then you complain about the repercussions, you're not really apologizing because you don't realize the impact that what you did had on this community and on the company. This is horrible what this company did. They literally stole a design from a trans owned company and said that it was their own and then defended it like it was their own and that it's okay to take designs. Like you're saying that you did take the design. All of this is an admission of guilt. Here's what I think is gonna happen. Nothing. I don't think the company will take accountability, which is very disappointing, but kind of saw it coming. Uh, I don't think their company is gonna burn to the ground and not exist anymore. That's never gonna happen. People like their products in the, like, the lesbian community and some people in the trans community. I'm not a huge fan of them. They like don't fit right for me, but that's just me. Also, they're expensive. A lot of packing underwear are expensive. But anyways, the point is I want something to happen it's not enough that they took the product off of their website. That's not enough for me. Something else needs to happen, and I need everybody who watches this video to help me and help the company get Rodeo to take accountability for their actions. Whether that's to post on every single one of their posts on Instagram that you can still comment on or send them emails, but I feel like a full-on boycott of all of their products is absolutely like 
Duh, that's what we should be doing. And the other thing that you can do if you want to help is actually check out the GoFundMe that my pack has. They have some really, really cool designs that they're coming out with, but they can't talk about them because they're scared someone's going to steal them. So they can't release that information yet. But a lot of people on their Instagram live this week actually said, do you have a GoFundMe? Like, I want to help donate so that we can get these products out. So I'll put that link in the description below. And also my pack, because they are going to be having this really cool launch that they're having, in order to mass produce it, they need manufacturing costs, which are a lot of money. So they're going to have an Indiegogo campaign by the end of the month. There will be different like tiers that you can purchase and you'll actually get a pack when you buy it and you're helping them invest into the manufacturing. So whenever that's there, I'll post that on my social media, but make sure you follow my pack strap and my Instagram account and this whole story that's happening. And if anything else, comes to fruition, I will definitely make another video or talk about it on my Instagram. I apologize a little bit that this video is long, but there's a lot of information and I feel like it needs to sink in and saying it a couple of times might help people like understand that this product was stolen. This design was stolen and the owner of the company purchased the product, did not purchase the design because I did get two comments of people saying, well, they bought the design so they're allowed. No, 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 they bought the product. They bought a product online. That's it, they didn't buy the design. All right, let me know what you think in the comments below. I absolutely recommend my pack, by the way, if you're looking for a packing strap. This video is 0% sponsored. I have never received money at all from my pack to make a video for them or to talk about this. I completely out of my own will, just so you're completely aware of there's like no biased over here. I'm 100% behind this company, really support this company, absolutely recommend getting their packing pouches and staying the F away from rodeo and help us make them accountable for their actions. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.